All right, folks, so it is time for another unboxing video. It's pretty much been like Christmas here this last uh, few days, in the next few days, um, as I have gotten rid of a lot of 9th gen stuff uh, to make way for the 10th gen. So you probably won't see too much 9th uh, gen on here anymore. I did, I did hold on to the uh, i7-9700F. Uh, I will be eventually putting that in my Dell uh, Inspiron 3670 uh, or maybe the HP Gaming uh, desktop. Uh, but other than that, the rest of the CPUs needed to make way for a new, a new tension. So, all right. Now, you guys know me. You know I'm not a big fan of anything but ATX motherboards but being in Hawaii I got a heck of a deal on a mini ITX uh, case with a 430 watt semi-modular EVGA power supply which these days is pretty expensive right I paid 60 bucks for the whole thing and uh, so I'm like might as well make a computer out of it uh, I've been using it as a test bench and uh, so that's another story all right, so what do we got here? Asus ROG Strix B460-I gaming motherboard. Um, so I usually do not buy Asus motherboards. I'm a, a Gigabyte MSI guy with the occasional ASRock thrown in there. So I didn't, I've noticed after I just unboxed an Asus motherboard that uh, their terminology in some places is a little different so I apologize if I goof something up. All right, I am glad to see at least they put a seal on their boxes. Some of these guys, I don't know what they're thinking. I do have the light on, apologize, but we'll need it in a second. Just so you can see what it says about the features. And this is a rather sharp looking um, motherboard, I gotta say, I mean, I haven't even got out of the box yet and I'm like, yeah. I like the design. Um, so this will feature Wi-Fi. One of the reasons I got it. Um, I honestly can't see why anybody would buy a uh, Mini ITX without Wi-Fi on the motherboard. All right, let's get. Uh, we'll look at this in a second. Let's see what's in the other box. Oh. So, a uh, piece of plastic, a manual. Have not been super impressed with the other ASUS manual. This one looks pretty sharp, but uh, probably more of the same. There's the insulation disc. They put it in there to protect it. And there will be some good pictures in here. Um, problem is the print is so small that uh, unless your eyesight is super good, you will definitely be breaking out the reading glasses. So we're going to try and go without that. Um, I would expect this guy is going to have some kind of RGB uh, connectors that I may miss. Um, these all look like stickers. Or a postcard. I don't know. Yeah, stickers. So I don't know. I don't really use my stickers. Um, not sure what point of this is either. Thank you for purchasing. Blah, blah. Yeah, we don't care. Let's get into it. So, uh, you got your set of three connectors. Uh, one that has both straight ends and one that has a 90 degree on it. M.2, whoa. There's one M.2 screw in here and a uh, standoff type thing um, for your uh, M.2 so that it doesn't sit on the, uh, the deck. Um, only one. It's always nice when they give you two in case you lose one. Very easy to do. Don't know what this cable is. I see a uh, USB Type C Charlie on one end, and the, oh, okay, this is the ROG thing that goes with it. So you guys out there, obviously, probably know what that is. Don't ask me. Uh, here is a extension cable. Okay, there's a second set of uh, 
M.2 screws and the standoff. This is, you know, definitely different than an ATX motherboard. They don't honestly ever give you this much crap and stuff I've never seen before. Oh wow, look at that. So, this is interesting. I, I love this. So you can connect your uh, panel headers here and it converts it into one big old freaking thing that you can plug into your motherboard. This is brilliant. Why they haven't done this before, I don't know. Uh, of course, it's got the standard ones. HDD, power, reset switch, power LED, and are we missing one? I feel like we're missing one. Nope. Okay. The fact that they're not split. All right. So what else we got? Um, some kind of wrench, it looks like. Another screw. I have no idea what that goes to, but maybe you guys will figure it out. We'll figure it out at some point. And then their bag is stuffed here. Oh, this is the antenna, so we'll leave this in here. Uh, yeah, there's the connectors for the that go to the motherboard, the I.O. area. And then, I hope this is magnetic. Um, this is different, folks. I'm definitely not used to an antenna that, that looks like this guy does. Whether that's good or bad, I don't know. I like the magnetic ones that stick on the side of your face. That's what I'm a fan of. All right, so a lot of stuff in here. Um, maybe too much stuff, to be honest with you. This is uh, this is probably, you know, if I was going to say motherboards for advanced builders, this is probably it, right? You are not going to uh, do so hot if this is your first one, probably. And in a second, my aids are done. So I got this annoyingly loud air conditioning. I've got eggs boiling in the background and uh, I'm making a video. Talk about triple tasking. All right. So we're going to pause for a second, folks. All right. So let's look at the features of this. Um, let's start here. Obviously your uh, CPU goes here and uh, make sure it's a LGA 1200 or Intel 10th gen. Uh, I will probably use a i3 10100. It's coming in uh, the mail today for this. I have the uh, i7 10700, the i5 10400, and I also have a, a Celeron G5900. Um, so, not a whole lot going on here other than that, folks. This uh, this is interesting. Um, should be the spot for your M.2 with the heat sink on it. It's a decent size. Looks like it's got some uh, serious thickness to it. Uh, make up for not being able to be uh, longer. PCI Express uh, 3.0 by 16. Uh, this will um, obviously support a good graphics card if you can if you can fit it in your uh, in your case, right? So I think uh, best I've been able to put in is the RX 5500 XT, uh, possibly my RX 590. We'll see. Two RAM slots. Uh, I'll probably use uh, 3000 or 3200 in this. So 24 pin uh, power. This is going to come from your power supply. And some of this stuff I just can't see um, from this angle. So USB 3.0. So this comes from your case. SATA 3s, four of those. All right, now the question is, this should probably be USB 2.0. Let's see if I can see it on the uh, screen without getting the manual out. Okay, so that's probably USB 2.0. This should be the uh, the header um, for the front panel connectors. Uh, you saw how they had that little uh, gizmo that attaches to them, and I'm sure the one above it is probably an RGB uh, connector. 
Now, I'll get the manual out in a second. We'll verify that. But uh, 2 by 4 CPU power. This also comes from power supply. And it would appear that there are uh, there's one CPU fan connector and two system fan connectors. And I can't read what those are. So, um, wow, we've got even more connectors over on this side. All right, folks. So let me do you a solid and actually get the manual out because we are going to... Um, make sure we tell you what's what. All right, folks, so USB 2.0. Now this is your uh, S slash PDIF out header. And then this guy here is, um, sorry, let me back up here. This is your HD audio. This is your S slash PDIF out header. And then this is a USB 2.0. All right, so over here, here's your USB 3.2 Gen 1 header, okay? These are your uh, SATA, three connectors for those. Over here, we've got a uh, another USB 2.0. Now these are your front case connectors, so your HDD LED, reset switch, uh, power LED, and power button. So corresponds HDD, reset switch, power LED on the next row, and power. Now this back row here is the speakers, okay? So if your case uh, included one of those little uh, PC speakers, that's what goes there. 24 pin power, this comes from your power supply. Here is your DDR4 uh, DIMMs, two of those. CPU tension goes here, LGA 1200. I don't believe there's anything else in this area. Um, and then this is your M.2. I'll be putting an M.2 NVMe in there. It should support SATA if uh, for whatever reason you go that route. All right, let's get this this section here figured out. So I'm gonna do the things I, I recognize right away, and then we'll go back and uh, figure out some of the other stuff. Uh, this is a two by four CPU power connector, and one of these is gonna be the CPU, and the others are the um, case fans. So it would appear the, uh, the gray one is a CPU fan, and these are two case fans. And then these guys are your, um, let's see here. Okay, these are pointing to this. This is goofy how they label this out. So RGB header here. And then this guy is, this is the Aura addressable Gen 2 header. Okay, I think that takes care of every feature over here, folks. I had to reshoot this, so hopefully I remember to edit it so you guys uh, see that. Um, let's see, what do we have here? HDMI. This would appear to be DisplayPort. Four USB 3.0s. All right, so we have... USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 port. This is a type C connector. All right. Now, Ethernet to regular USBs. Here's where your uh, Wi Fi antennas go. Hey, guess what? We didn't get uh, Wi Fi antennas. Uh, oh, no. Sorry. You know, it's goofy. Um, I was thinking of the ones that screw in here, but we did get a uh, Wi Fi antenna, one that's a little different. Now, you've got your selection of different audio connectors, including headphones, microphones. And then this guy is unique right here. This is your audio USB Type-C. Uh, never seen that before. And uh, we'll be interested uh, to see what that works with. If that is something for your you know, newest stereos out there or, or what that actually does. So hopefully you got something out of this. 
like I said at the beginning, um, you know, not as familiar with Asus and definitely getting more familiar with Mini ITX um, is, you know, a standard ATX board. Stuff is pretty much, you know, the same. Spread out, a little easier to read, a little easier to see. And uh, so there you go. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. We'll uh, take a, a couple of videos of some of the stuff in the uh, manual so you can see it because some of this detail you're not going to find anywhere else probably. All right, so you may have to pause your screen. So I'm going to go through it relatively quick. All right, so um, next page. There could be some useful information in here. You're definitely not going to see this info on Amazon. And you may not even see it on their on their website. Um, of course, if you're able to download the manual, which uh, you should be able to, you'll be able to get this stuff. And the last page I'm going to go over. All right, there you go, folks.